the early Cycladic period. Selected artifacts. Male figurines. The male figure is rarely represented in Cycladic art. Most frequently it appears in the form of a seated figurine, a musician, in the earlier part of the early Cycladic the second period, or a hunter or warrior, at the end of the same period. Male figurines in the canonical standing position are extremely rare. We do know, however, of a few standing males in the Plasteres type of the early Cycladic I period. Some figurines of the transitional early Cycladic I to II period, on which the above traits are not fully elaborated, are called pre-canonical. Earlier examples include two early Cycladic I types which are named after the cemeteries where they were first found, Plasteres and Leros. In the Plasteres types, the human form is still rendered in a way reminiscent of Leib's Neolithic examples, while in the Leros type the artists prefer much more abstract forms. A series of later figurines, which clearly deviate from the strict stylistic rules of the early Cycladic the second period, mainly in the positioning of the legs and arms, but also in the overall appearance of the human form, are referred to as post-canonical. In addition to these rather naturalistic figurines, there are also several examples in which the female figure is represented in a highly schematic manner. The best known among them are violin-shaped figurines of the early Cycladic I period, so named for obvious reasons. These figurines are usually small, rarely exceeding 15 to 20 centimeters. Schematic examples are also known from the early Cycladic I period, but are very different in form. Seated figurine. The cup bearer, marble, Cycladic, early Cycladic the second period. Ciro's phase. 2800 to 2300 BC. Description. In addition to the numerous female figurines, Cycladic sculptors also produced a series of elegant compositions of special form. Among them are standing and seated males engaged in an activity, musicians, flute players and lyre players, seated females and groups of two or three figures. Most of these works date from the early phase of the early Cycladic the second period. The cupbearer in the Museum of Cycladic Art is a rare type of seated figure and the only intact example of its kind to date. Although the gender is not indicated, it is considered to represent a male figure because it is shown in action. The figure sits on an integral marble stool and holds a cup in its right hand, poised as if ready to propose a toast or perform a libation. Specific morphological elements, such as the plasticity of the volumes in the parted legs, place the figurine among the early works of the Spedos variety. Works such as this depart from the immobility of the canonical female figurines and succeed in conveying movement, thus conquering, as it were, three-dimensional space, as well as a sense of time. The use of most special figurines remains enigmatic, but the fact that certain types are reproduced suggests that they had a specific function, possibly as votive offerings or ritual objects. Figurine of a hunter or warrior, post-canonical type, marble, Cycladic, early Cycladic second period. Ciro's phase, 2800 to 2300 BC. Description. The figurines of the so-called post-canonical type include a small group of male figures accoutred as hunters or warriors, as in this characteristic example. A slightly raised area on the crown possibly indicates a kind of headdress, while a relief band with oblique incisions on the back of the head renders a hair braid. The facial features are shown in relief, except for the eyes and the mouth, which are incised. From the left shoulder hangs a relief baldric, while at the point of its buckle is an incised triangular dagger. The genitalia are in sunken relief. 
The short legs end in rudimentary feet, with six toes incised on the left one and five on the right. Another ten hunter or warrior figurines are known. On most of them the baldric hangs from the right shoulder. Some also feature a dagger, belt and codpiece, usually carved in relief. Hunter or warrior figurines are dated to the end of the early Cycladic II period. Indeed, some researchers have linked their appearance with the upheavals observed in the Aegean region in this period, which were accompanied by violent destructions and the capture or abandonment of a significant number of settlements in the Aegean and Asia Minor. Trunk and thighs of a male statue, marble, Cycladic, early Cycladic the second period. Ciro's face. 2800 to 2300 BC, attributed to the Gulandris master. Description. Male figures are rare in Cycladic sculpture and occur in specific types of figurines, musicians, hunters or warriors and a few examples of Plasteres type. The renowned male figure in the Museum of Cycladic art, reputed to come from Amorgus, is one of the very few represented in the characteristic upright pose of the canonical female figurines. It is also the only known male figure of monumental dimensions. Its original height must have been about one meter. In contrast to other male figurines, in which the genitalia are indicated summarily or not at all, the penis here is modeled in the round. Some researchers ascribe this figure to a sculptor known conventionally as the Guilandris Master. The size of the figure permits us to suggest that it may represent a male deity, even though the rarity of standing male figurines makes any attempted interpretation difficult. Torso of a flute player, marble, Cycladic, early Cycladic the second period. Ciro's face. 2800 to 2300 BC. Description. The standing position, the unusually long neck and the extended arms of this fragment suggest that it may have belonged to a figurine of a musician, namely a flute player. As we know from intact examples, flute players were always males and hold a wind instrument to the mouth. The instrument could be a double flute or a panpipe. Apart from standing flute players, Cycladic sculptors produced also figurines of seated musicians, who played an instrument very similar to the harp, hence the name harpists. In typological terms, all figurines of musicians belong to the Capsala or early Spedos variety and date to the early stages of the early Cycladic II period.